Once you've taken the time to create schedules tailored to your specific needs, you can reuse them in other projects by placing them in your project template. You can also quickly transfer schedule formats from one project to another, as well as export entire schedules for use in other applications. For example, in the Project Browser, I'll expand the Schedules Quantities branch, select the Space Schedule, and right-click. In the shortcut menu, I'll choose Save to New File. Revit displays the Save As dialog. I'll navigate to the folder containing my exercise files, accept the default name, and click Save. I've just saved a copy of the space schedule as a separate Revit project file. I'll be able to reuse that schedule in another project by inserting it into the new project. You can also copy and paste schedules between open Revit project files. I'll press Ctrl and select the mechanical equipment schedule and the lighting fixture schedule in the project browser. Then, I'll right-click and select Copy to Clipboard. This is the same as using the Copy to Clipboard tool on the ribbon. Next, I'll start a new project. I'll expand the Application menu and click New. On the Modify ribbon, in the Clipboard panel, I'll click Paste from Clipboard. Revit may warn that some elements already exist, and you can simply click OK. The two schedules you copied now appear in the Project Browser, and one of them has now become the Active View. Those schedules have the exact same formatting as in the project from which they were copied. Although the schedules are currently empty, as you add elements to the new project, the schedules will automatically populate. In the new project, I'll switch to the Level 1 Mechanical Floor Plan view. On the Insert ribbon, in the Import panel, I'll expand the Insert from File Split button and choose Insert Views from File. Revit displays the Open dialog. I'll navigate to the folder containing my exercise files, select the Space Schedule project file I created earlier, and click Open. Revit displays an Insert Views dialog. Since I had only exported the single Space Schedule view, only one view appears in the Views list. But if the file had contained other views, you could choose to insert any of the other views or schedules contained in the Revit project file. I'll click OK. Again, you may see a warning that the file you're importing contains duplicate types. Simply click OK. Then the space schedule is added to the new project and becomes the current active view. Again, the schedule is currently empty, but has the exact same formatting as it did in the other project. As you add spaces to the new project, the schedule will get filled in automatically. You can also export entire schedules to a delimited text file that can then be opened using other programs, such as Microsoft Excel. In order to export a schedule, the schedule must be the current active view. I'll use the tool on the Quick Access Toolbar to switch back to my other project and then open the Lighting Fixture schedule. Then, I'll expand the Application menu and choose Export Reports, Schedule. Revit displays the Export Schedule dialog. I'll navigate to the folder containing my exercise files, accept the default name, and click Save. Revit displays the Export Schedule dialog. Here, you can choose whether you want to export column headers, whether you want the header formatted as a single row, or in multiple rows as in the current project, and whether to export group headers, footers, and blank lines. You can also choose the symbol used as the field delimiter and the text qualifier. Bear in mind that when you export a schedule like this, the resulting schedule does not include any formatting of fonts or grid lines. You're simply creating an ASCII text file. I'll accept all of these default values and click OK. 
I'll switch to Microsoft Excel. In Excel, I'll click Open, navigate to the folder containing my exercise files, change the files of type to text files, select the lighting fixture schedule.txt file that I just created, and click Open. This starts Excel's text import wizard. I'll accept the defaults and click Next to step through the three pages of the wizard. Of course, if you had exported the text file using different settings, you can make adjustments here as needed. When I click Finish, all of the scheduled data is now available in Excel. I'll double-click the column dividers to resize the columns to fit. Now you can use the scheduled data in Excel. This is now standalone data. It is not linked to the Revit project. But you may want to look into third-party add-on applications and subscriber-only extensions that enable you to link external data back to Revit models.